myself Suddenly I'm up on top of the world It should have been somebody else Believe it or not I'm walking on air I never thought I could feel so free Flying away on a wing and a prayer Who could it be? Believe it or not Macana Tem is called or will be called eventually Adapting Man. Right now, Adapting Man, okay. Adapting Man is completely confused. He has no worry or anything. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know uh, who he is. He doesn't know what's going on. He just stumbled out of a room and there he is. And mm -hmm. he doesn't know who's the guy, guys, who's the guy, or anything. She's just going to stand there until something happens. Okay, so this is what Super Frog's play is. I just kicked uh, one dude out, and two guys are unconscious, right? Because I just, just kicked one into the other. Super Frog got rocked. He wants to stick his tongue on the center of this thing. thing. A little bit of a picture. He wants to sort of stick his tongue on the center of this thing. thing. And then he wants to run around the room and clothesline people. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. By, by the way, are we losing any actual champions, characters, or are all of you? Oh, these are all unique. I may have, I may pull some classic champions villains because um, they're good and they're useful and I like them. But we've got, um, but this is an original champions universe, if you would. I know the rules. I just I've never actually played. They actually apply, right? Welcome to the club. <laughs> I mean, the play is essentially super lead, super lead, super lead. You know, he's got enough movement that he can move like, like 30 feet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's just a matter of like, like how it plays out and what I need to roll. Well, it's an attack roll. Uh, what's your OCV? It's 10. 10. 10. Okay. And there's modifiers for doing a move by. So if you're going to do more than one, then it's a negative two each person after the first. And it's cumulative. So it's negative two, then negative four, then negative six, negative eight, and so on. Yeah. It's not very superhero. Well, it's the first time you're trying it. I think that's very superhero. Yeah, like, so your OC, your your OCV. Well, I just gotta say, if I was in a room with a bunch of five year olds, I would clean house. Okay, okay. just say it. Yeah, five years old because we're gonna give them an OCV, DCV of one. No, because that's the comparison: a super versus normal. But I'm rolling. on a normal. No, we're not. We're not rolling yet. Okay. What's your OCV? Ten. Ten. And do you move by is a minus two, right? Cumulative. So how many people is he trying to do a move by? So he's starting at eight, so it's going to go... 
eight, six, four, two. Looks so, like he's going after five, five. by his line, he drew. Okay, so you have an OCB of 10, and you're trying to do five guys, but so that's four. four. So that's negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight. So effectively, you're going to have a OCB of 10. Yeah, that's what I thought. 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 Yeah,
Is he in the elevator? I uh, know, he's just got it opened up. Okay. Well, then, uh, so Frog's just going to kick one of these motherfuckers with a New Year's guy. I don't know, is it over there or something? Okay. And I'm um, going to kick him, you know, sort of outward. So, so using all of it. Double knock that kick of a dude made of flesh and popsicle. Okay, okay. He's got he's got some gear on, providing him some defense from harm. Right. right. Let's get, of course, a damage count. That's nine body and uh, twenty nine gun. Nine and twenty nine, so yeah, I mean, kicked hard and fast into the nearest fixed object or fixed wall space, um, and would hit it with a crunch and slump down into a heap onto the floor, not moving. With some of his limbs in the wrong position. Okay, the agents are going to open up. <laughs> you laugh, you laugh. We'll start with two at knockout. Yeah, I- I'm right in between those two. Hopefully, they'll shoot each other. It's happened before. Yeah, yeah. It can happen again. Yeah. It's an o- a DCV of six or less. I'm a seven. I'm a seven. And the second shot. DCV of four or less. Um, two, that's two. Super Frog, two are shooting at you. DCV of six or less? I got a hand, man. You okay? Shots are wild and errant. That's. So in segment five, speed of five, people with speeds of five are up. Is that anybody? Doesn't um, um, Seho or the, uh, Tim have any, any, any movement in the third or the fourth? I don't think we're there yet. Uh, my speed is two. I don't know. Your speed is two? Yes. Oh, oh. that's slow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But am I in this combat? It seems like we're in the middle of something. Thing. Uh, when you see uh, my character, his, uh, the, his base characteristics are very low. He, he, most of his flowers come from a flower pool. So, when they activate, then maybe he will get faster, stronger, and so on so on and on. But for the moment, he, he, not a body. Are you guys on this map? map? Uh, they're down one of the halls. You guys can pick a hall and you're uh, down and, and can okay. see to the center. And My character is okay, be from, uh, coming uh, down uh, one of these halls. I'll be right here. here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where you know, see where the mouse is? I'll be right there. there. I'm staggering out. I'm wandering around trying to figure out what's going on. Huh? You can number. I, th- I just numbered them. I'm on, um, two. 
Okay, I am going to say Rayamon 3. Okay. So, Adaption Man is can see everything, but you don't have a movement on this segment. Juggernaut, your speed is... Three. Three. So I'm four, eight, and twelve. Four, eight, and twelve. <laughs> so he's talking with reaction in the game? I don't remember. There's a number of things they can do that are like, like uh, zero phase actions, half phase actions, and full phase actions. Oh, so okay. can I shout? Uh, what is going on? Yeah, you can do that. Shout. You can always talk. Yeah, yeah. Super Frog, you're up. It's segment seven. Um, what was the significance of the black circle around one of the um, dudes? Those were you. I don't know what uh, that circle but looks a little like around a heart. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe that was Dr. McKeever at first, but I've got him in front of the elevator. Uh, okay. okay. So, um, um, Super Frog is, is um, um, he's got such a crazy movement. He's just going to do, um, something like this. He's going to go, bang. he's just going to sort of reach, and sort of bounce, you know, sort of leap to the wall, like right in the middle of the wall, and then come back out and just land here and, and just, just like as quiet and just shake the guy, guy. You know, he's gonna like do a big elaborate move and he's gonna stand there and just the leg goes out and he okay. kicks that guy right into the wall. Okay. He's got a DCV of four. Yeah, so that's I add my, my ten to that's a nine. Um, you got twenty one and you roll and minus his, so that's like seventeen. So that's happening. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, good. We got a total of uh, three, four, seven, wow, eleven body. And that uh, flow is done. We're looking at uh, 30, 42 stun. Well, it clearly knocks him out. Uh, the body is, uh, I think, most of it is absorbed by his body armor, but the amount of stun has, you know, unconscious, like what, Mahone or whatever his name is. The Kansas City Chiefs quarterback just boom, lights out. Ultimate fighting. What's the double knockback do? Um, the knock. I guess the double knockback is going to put him into that wall, interior wall, and uh, he would have to squish against it. There's a, enough damage coming off of that. What eighteen? Mm. Yeah, it's just more of the same, more broken, more bloody, more closer to dying than not than just being unconscious. Okay, cool, cool. He can stick in the wall too, so he's not on the floor. He's just kind of hanging there. What kind of wall Something is it? Above. Hmm. What kind of wall is it? Is it like like plastic? Is it like thin metal? Stainless steel. Oh, cool. cool. Obviously, of a very thick gauge. Boom. Boom. Segment eight. Six, five, and threes. So. Oh, good. Um, um, well, well, we have some, uh, some people to do some attack sacks. Two of us got another one. Another one. No, you don't. Are you a speed seven? Oh, no. no. I thought you said sixes. Five and three. Okay. 
Because it's going to be the same thing. Oh, he's going to be a six. Okay. Yeah. That's what it's... Yes, so uh, frog. Anyone who's going to speed a five, and then anyone who's going to speed a three. I got to speed a three. three. All right, why don't you go? <laughs> okay, I'm wandering around the hallway. I just woke up and realized I'm a robot body. I don't know how the hell I got here. Uh, so I'm walking, I walk up in here, and I, the, the red guys are the bad guys. <laughs> They're, yeah, they're yeah, dudes with, like, like, black suits on and rifles. Relative. That is good. Can I determine if these are the bad guys, more or less? Or? They're shooting guns. All right, well, they're shooting guns at a man-sized frog leaping around. And there's a woman in the room. Room. Okay, I'm gonna walk up and uh, and um, I guess I'm going to punch one, punch one of them. I'll punch uh, this guy right here, the nearest guy. Guy. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Let's go. Good DCV of four. Okay, so I'm gonna add a level to my hand to hand. Which means I gotta have a thirteen or less knit. You were actually and I rolled huh? You were actually in the bottom on I'm sorry. So there you are, yeah. And I rolled a nine, so I hit. Mm-hmm. Physical defense of ten. Three nice son. So that's twenty nine, that's way over his constitution. Eleven body. Does he crumple up Yeah. Yeah, he's just yeah. You get no knot back, so it's fine. fine. It's whatever it took to just drop him right in front of you. Super frog. Super frog is uh, is gonna do. Um, he's going back the other way this time. And he's just gonna do handstands. He's gonna spring off the ceiling. He's just gonna go like this. And as he comes by, he's gonna say, "Cool suit, dude." And then then he's gonna come back around. He's just gonna uh, you know calmly just just get that guy wherever this guy is. All right. All you know about him is he's about, he's probably a medium. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So good. That's a hit. There's a bunch of dice. Um, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine body and uh, a full of uh, um, 20, 30, 30 stun. Okay, it's just more bugs on the windshield. Yeah, he's got a the double knockback kick. He's just trying to kick him right at the other guy. He's trying to hit the other guy with this guy. So he's just going to push him right there into that guy. Okay, you're going to start. Yeah, just going to start piling them up. Them up. Just piling them up. Uh, whew, how many we got left? Super frog. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh? No, no, five, five. five. What's my gear doing? That this name thing. I don't trust him. Uh, he went in the elevator and we closed the elevator. Um, it looks like two of them are going to get a shot at you. And they're opening it up to auto fire because they have not been able to. I hope. Okay. (laughs) 
Uh, DCV of six or less. Out of ten. And... Yeah. Even on auto fire, they can't get anything on you. Um, knockout. Yeah, I'll take the yellow knockout. The keeper's getting away. He's gone down the elevator. Yeah, that's that's all it takes for me to leave these and run around the left side. I'm also assuming I saw that that Tim's Tim's guy come out of the hallway. Yeah, the zombie bungee guy. So, uh, knockout runs. I don't know how far it is because we don't have a grid to where that that yellow dot is at the front of the elevator, which is gone. gone. Uh, My running is like, like. 13. Is that, a, is that a half move? Seven inch half move to get there? So I yeah. can still have action. Seven, t- seven times six. Seven times six and a half, yeah. Alright, alright. So I'm going to try to figure out how to get the elevator door open. Are there buttons? Yes, there are. What do they look like? Like... They look like uh, there's a stack of a block of six, three, and three, uh, green, yellow, and blue. Um, and the green one is lit. There's also looks like a thumb scanner for control access. And so, in a part of the facing of the electronics of the controls are pulled open and have been screwed with. It looks like what Dr. McKeever did was he did something there with all the wires and stuff, and it's still just dangling there as he gets in and goes up. And, and then, so the elevator doors are closed. And you shots um, are going uh, DCV of five. Is that a hit? No, I'm still a seven. Yeah. JJ. So even if I'm paying attention to this thing, thing. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. The bullets are going off around you. So that was. Is there any other action you want to try to squeeze in there in front of the elevator? I wanna, I'm going to press the green button. Um, roll a d6 on a one, it opens. Otherwise, Dr. Keever has. Oh, that's a six. Jury rigged it successfully that it will not open. The green button does nothing. Tilt, 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 tilt. I don't know. I'm fairly certain that's not a half phase action, so I'm gonna pre- I'm gonna press another button. button. Okay, I'll give you the same chance. So I'm just I'm pressing, pressing buttons. buttons. That's a two. two. And, yeah, and now you can keep on pushing buttons, but nothing else will happen on the buttons. Got it. Yeah. So, so that's the rest of my phase is pressing buttons until something else happens to me in whenever. Ever. Okay. Who's got a, anyone got a speed of four? I'm looking for speeds of six and five. Six and five. Uh, Super Frog's got a six. Yes, so Super Frog, you're up. 
<laughs> so you shrug his uh, well, this, this is all that happened. He's going to say, hey, robot guy, we're going, going down on the elevator. You should come. It would be cool. Is this your friend? And he's over, he's nods over, and, and while he does that, he's uh, he's going to do a, uh, a leap. He's going to try to drop away the big bloody smear that he just put in here, and he's going to fall like right over knockout shoulder, just sort of full on into the elevator door. Okay. He's doing, um, you know, I guess, um, yeah, yeah, he's trying to blast through it. And we haven't thought past that. I guess, you know, I don't know, I'll look at the guy. I gotta, I gotta, I don't know what damage that. dice and tell me what your body, the body is that you do. Okay, damage dice. Um, which would uh, be uh, 66 for just strength, right? Um, but, but I don't know. I'm not punching it, I guess. Who knows? Who knows what he's doing? Um, it's a 25. Um, oh, a body? More body? Yeah, this um, is um, to break things down. Okay, so it's um, six, six, uh, eight, eight. Eight body and uh, twenty five point. Okay, um, you bend it in. You bend them both in so you got a crack big enough that you could squeeze through, um, or you could take the next turn and clear out at least one of them if not both elevator doors right right and there's no cab inside it's gone up the elevator has left it's gone up (laughs) to the top floor So we have access to the elevator shaft now, though? Yeah. Yep. You could push out. You could push aside uh, the door, either one of the doors, or both, with your passive strength big enough to, yeah, walk right into the shaft. But you, the shaft, and the shaft is just it goes up. It only goes up. Does it look like there's anything to climb up on in there? Like there's a ladder or anything? Or is it just... It's just the equipment of an elevator in a sealed environment. Um, But there's no ladders, but it's easy for someone like yourself to climb. They would just wreck stuff, maybe. What phase is it? It's knockouts. We're in, um, we're in the stand at segment 10. And after knockout, we're going to be going to segment 11, 12, the last one. All right, well, well. I'll move into this elevator and start to climb up. Or the elevator shaft. Okay. So we're now to segment 12, the end of a combat turn. Everybody gets the go. Super frog that usually leads off with you with your because you have a very high dexterity. <laughs> Well, well, the frog's going through the hole that knockout wide wide. And uh, he's going to say, uh, hang on, knockout. And he's going to sort of bound up with his clinging, you know, sort of leap up and grab knockout on the way and just go shoot up to the top or whatever this thing is. That is, if the knockout is minimal. Obviously, if knockout will on, it probably won't happen. Yeah, that gets you um, 
close to underneath the elevator cab. You've got a movement of 30 inches, so whatever, you know. Yeah. When, you did, so, when you did something, right? So, okay. what's okay. doing something? Fifth Just hang out. Sure, sure. I wonder what the dudes are doing now, though. So, well, I, 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 when I'm grabbed, I'm saying, ah, help! <laughs> <laughs> Juggernaut? Okay. okay. Um, so, we're leaving? <laughs> I'm we're not in the middle. We're not in the middle of a fight. Are these soldiers? Are the agents giving up? Giving up on us, or we're, we're chasing after somebody? The agents haven't given up. These guys are just running away. <laughs> yep. Well, shoot, they might have answers. Um. If you want to know hexes, what are we talking about? Yeah, okay. Um. I'm gonna basically go up here and um, basically just if the guy attacks him, just gonna like like hit him and sort of like strong arm and just. just I'm going to hit him by basically backhanding him and slamming him into the wall. Uh, essentially, it's a, it's a hit. And now I'm in. He's, like, he's in my way. And nobody gets yep. in my way quickly when I need to find out what the hell's going on with me. And what's been going on? Because I have no idea. I'm just not very happy. Which dude is it like? You know, first dude, second dude, third dude? This one. Oops. Yeah, I can't see you. Two. 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 Yeah, yeah. Where I am, I don't think you can see the mouse. No, we don't okay. see anyone else's mouse. Yeah. Okay. Interactive like that. Oh, wow. Shit. I rolled a 14, which means uh, with a 6, that means I rolled. Okay, I only hit a OCB, a PCB, a 3. I missed. Yes, you did. You did miss. <laughs> um, uh, adapting man. Uh -huh. You have an opportunity to act. Okay, so bring it to action. Your first Champions United superheroic action. What shall it be? Uh, well, the thing is, uh, if you confuse all what's going on, uh, if your skin he doesn't know who people are, or, or uh, these creatures even less, and they are fighting and shooting each other, he, he doesn't know anyone. Okay, okay. For now, he was going to shout out, Someone explain to me what's going on, please! And, and then he's going to hold his action, I think that's the thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. He's yeah. going to hold his action. If, if someone attacks him, then he will react. Yeah. Otherwise, he's just going to stand there and see what he values. Okay. Okay. If there's two guys, if there's at least two, um, in answer to what's going on, they turn around and shoot you, shoot at you with their their high tech rifles. They're shooting these bolts that crack. And uh Okay, note that my power pool will activate the moment I am hit by an attack. But I will let you decide if that protects me or not. Uh, because I don't never know what powers I will get. So I don't even know that I have powers at this moment. Yeah, yeah, these things will be just like popping up. Uh-huh. So uh 
uh, if I let like, you choose, what do I get from that? that? Because it could be a protection, it could be an attack, it could be flight, I don't know. No. Um, it's going to be give, try to give you some protection against the kinetic force of these of the bullets. Okay. Electro bullets. And so they hit a armor a, a DCV of five or less. I have a um, I believe my OCV is four right now. Mm-hmm. So your DCV is probably four as well. Okay. And so what are you putting up as a defensive field? Like a force field? Okay. Okay. So I am going to no, 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 don't shoot me, and then ping, 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 ping. That thing mm-hmm. starts bouncing off, and I'm going, what's going on here? Is this a dream? And that will be my face, I believe, my turn. Yeah, and I'm going to roll the damage of one of them shooting at you and hitting you. Fourteen stun and seven body. Okay, okay. So my power pool is of up to sixty points. But again, again. Uh, you decide if I remember this. It's a zero phase action. So you decide if that is enough to, you know, you know protect me in time or not. No. <laughs> Well, yeah, the question is how much. And that's actually a number. We probably should figure that out. Um, but now is probably not the time. But you, we probably should go over point costs of regular combinations. So you need a resistant defense against the body. A force field does that. Um I see. I see. Uh, Sixty points. What's that going to give you? Is um, six six? What? Uh, Sixty. To, I guess I should first divide that by five, which is. Since I am like again, I have no idea what this power do. So right now, now I assume that as a reaction from being shot because anybody will panic when when mm-hmm. seeing them being shot. I would probably expend all my points on you know on, on defense at yep. the moment, and um, sixty points is a lot. I know it is. So the bullets, uh, the bullets bounce off your field that goes up and however so, yeah, manifests yeah. so the you just deflected bullets okay and I am going, going what? Yeah, yeah that's it for, for now for now okay they're not they're really little, little, right they're like some sort of beam or a pulse <laughs> yeah it's a pulse yeah yeah and when it hits something it cracks um like the breaking of fine china <laughs> I don't want to get hit by one of those. So, if anyone needs to take a recovery or for anyone hasn't moved yet, now's the time. Because we're going to go back to segment one, top of the order. That's going to only be people with a speed of 12. We have none of those, thankfully. Super Frog, you are up. Um, yeah. Well, um, we're at the top of an elevator shaft, right? And there's no, the door's not open, correct? Right? Or we're right underneath the elevator? You're underneath the elevator cab. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, and, um, jeez, what, what do you think, Knockout? That was like, like, we're gonna have to, like, like, get in there. Super Frog's just gonna, like, like, you know, throw Knockout over to, like, something to hang on to, and then, um, um he's gonna leap up and then shoot you know, to the bottom of this elevator. Like, just try to, like, break through the bottom of the elevator with a big kick. Okay. 
It's got five defense and six body. Okay. So we were going to count your body damage, and I take five away from that. Whatever is left gets. It's structural. Is there something for me to hang on to on this elevator while he's kicking it, or am I just getting dropped however far? No, you. There's there's plenty to grab onto as far as the tracks for the elevator itself, with cables, chains, the steel tracks that hold it. I'm holding on for dear life, then. Then two, four, six, eight, and uh, six, eight, eight, ten, eleven, eleven body. <laughs> yeah, you punch through it. And then there's um not much left know. over, but you do punch through it. So I make a big hole we can get out of there? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay. You gotta so squeeze gonna something do through. Do a little wiggle if you're gonna do that. <laughs> And that's the 12? That's the second. Oh. oh. We just had the 12. I don't want to refresh me on recovery race again. It is your recovery directly. Oh, okay. That, that number. I've been doing a lot of stuff and the number is going down, so I've got to make sure. That's what I should say. I should say it's for stun and endurance directly. Body may be different, applied differently because that's mortal damage, but okay. stun and endurance that you're burning up through a turn. It's, you know, dollars dollars for donuts. I've got a 12. Does that sound pretty good? How you got, what kind of recovery do you have? Yeah. Yeah. Me? Yeah. yeah. I got a 15. Oh, that's good. That's good. I got a couple of strength, too, so that's pretty good. I was, I'm, I'm, yeah, let's see if we can break something. I'm waiting. I have a speed of three, so I'm not the fastest guy in here. I'm not, I should know I'm not the slowest guy here. Somebody else is slower than me, but. Yeah, but Knockout's turn is up. Speed five. Okay. It's my turn. Uh, yes. I'm going to try to get into the elevator car. Okay, that's easily done. All right, all right. And you're looking across... Uh... <laughs> It would you consider it a large, uh, a, a spacious lobby with two directly across from the elevator's opening. These big, heavy, like steel doors that open uh, horizontally closed so you would step out there you go yeah 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 this one here here yeah yeah you came out of the elevator and you're to the left which one's the elevator here the elevator is a circle with the two squares in it okay so we're off to the left here somewhere um, let me just get it on to, uh, yeah. <laughs> Some of these, oh, I was over there. Some are over here. Yeah. Uh, this the, oh, I'm below the image. That's why I came right on it. There it's we tricky, go. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Looking out the uh, elevator doors, open elevator doors, you can see those heavy steel doors. These things? Yeah. Um, there's also some 
plenty of skylights in the dome. You're looking, it's a dome ceiling over it. Mm. And you can see through the plexiglass uh, above you. I know it's, it's not plexiglass, some frosted thick glass, like a rim of a, the top of a barrel. It's it's stout and thick, but it gives you, and it's about three feet wide, and it gives a view straight up into the stars. Well, so far, it's just kind of, uh, he's going to, uh, I don't know what ground it is, but on the fourth, he moves. And there's a lot, if we're on the third, and there's a lot of purple light flashing, and Coming from out of the uh, out of the windows of that dome drone, and it's Super Frog then because Knockout, you did your action. Yeah, I moved uh, up and out of the elevator and into that hallway before the big doors. Okay, staring up at the sky. Or the- yep. What are the hexes here? Like, how many, like, how far is it to those doors? Uh, let's use it hex for hex. Wow, that's huge. Nice. Why not? Let's give it a big battle surface. We got a grid, we can use it. Okay. Um, well, um, that means that uh, he just wants to sort of come out and just sort of look around, sort of bounce around, just to be able to see if he sees the big brainy head guy. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to hear something. Um, you hear from the north down that way, that that hallway or that tunnel. <laughs> that passageway um, you can hear a slavering growl something growling sniffing padding am I sure it's not super frog stomach yeah cause it steps out in a in a feline crouch and it's shaggy Dr. Farwell with um, some harness on her as well. Something strapped around her. Like something like a homing device or something you would see like if you tagged a porpoise or a stag. So she's just chained to a wall over there? Oh, no, no, it's, it's just something strapped to her. Oh, you know, no. Like a, here, here. Like a high-tech radio collar with, with doodads attached to it. Wires running off of it, going up into up into her head. All right. All right. And so, and she'll be attacking. Yeah, I wonder who she'll attack. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. She's like doing the, uh, you know, it's it's just pretty much the character in uh, Wonder Woman 1984. <laughs> I guess that makes me Wonder Woman. How far down is she? How far down is she? Let's uh, put her down there. Uh, Twenty from knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. 20. Somewhere in there. In there. Yeah, yeah. And so she's gonna come bounding down the hall at you. Her movement is. 12 inches so she'll be in a full sprint and super frog what would you what would you like to do um, um super frog i remember super frog chased this one one in the dark arc. um and uh he's, he's, he doesn't really know yeah it's like, it's like what, who is this you know i don't know super frog's just sort of like like He's going to go back in the elevator. He's going to look down the hall. You know, he's going to say, hey, dude, dude, you coming? Um, and just leave knockout to it. Okay. Uh, see how you're attacked again by the two agents. 
with their rifles, with their electro rifles. DCV of four or less. DCV of seven or less. One of them hit, right? Okay. Four body and eight stun. Ineffective. Uh, Juggernaut, there's two that change their settings on their gun before they shoot them at you. OCV, uh, a DCV of eight or less. One guy. Mm-hmm. And the second guy. Uh, a DC, OC, DCV of three or less, which is most likely. That's a mess. Mess. So, let's go to the three, four, five, five body, and ten stun. Yeah, yeah, if I had a, if I wasn't so angry, I'd be laughing now. Now, yeah, those hey, bullets, man, man. Those, these, these guns aren't doing much to you, are they? No. Uh, knockout Europe. We're in segment five. I didn't go on four. My apologies. Um, you know what? These two, the frog guy and the and uh, and the pre girl, yeah, um, they seem to be that was, they seem to be on the enemy. It's, I'm gonna head towards the elevator shaft. This is these other guys can't really hurt me. No, and, so uh, you're just like ignoring them as the they yeah. The, the, I'm the, gonna, the I'm just gonna right? leap up because I got twenty. I can do like um. Twenty inches, so leap up, and I get clinging. So I just leap up to the side of the elevator shaft, take my hand, take my my metal hands, and just, just gouge them into the steel, and just climb up. And then if I gotta punch through the elevator car, I'll do that just so I can get up there. Unless I can actually just bypass the elevator car. No, you'll have to go through the bottom of the elevator car. But Super Frog and Knockout have preceded you, and okay. but you won't reach it this. This segment. Well, before I do that, I have the, uh, the I gotta hold up for him. So sorry, sorry, CEO, sorry, Alfredo. <laughs> Left in the dust. Um. Segment five. Knockout. All knockout. Okay. Knockout tells Super Frog to stop messing around and go find that big headed jerk, Dr. McKeever. I'll take Shaggy Dr. Farwell. You say she's she's, uh, moved at me with 12? And she was yeah. 20 away? Yep, so she's 8 away. Alright, well that's well within my running. Okay. But, but not without me having to let her get a first shot at me. She's How just right at that, that range. Why would she get a shot before you? Well, she's at she's eight away. away. My half you moves seven. seven. Wow. Ah, ah. I thought you made it. I thought you made it in a half move. I thought you were there. Of course, I could push my running. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll push my running. Okay. And I'll, that'll put me at a half move right in front of her face. I'll put, put all my levels in strike. Right. Okay, her uh, DCV is 12. Alright. I'm gonna hit Shaggy Dr. Farwell on a 9 or less. 
Come on, dice. I, that's a big one. I wish I was rolling for a D and D character. So I run up and take a big swing and miss. Okay. She'll be doing a somersault over the top of you. Oh, jeez. Making me look bad. Because that looks really cool when you do stuff like that. Heck yeah. yeah. And it is Shaggy Dr. Farwell's action. She's the top of this. We are in segment six. And yep. Okay. Well, uh, number six, two. You got a dexterity. What's your dexterity? Is it 30? She beats you. Well, well, that's fine, fine. I'm looking down the hole and I'm seeing Robot Man who is like, like clawing his way up. Yeah. And I'm being like, like, you can do it. And I'm being very encouraging, you know? Um, and, and trying to be nice. Shaggy Dr. Farwell hits you. Oh, God. With her raking claws as she flips over you. And does... Eleven body. Ooh. And fifty-five stun. Ooh. Ouch. Yeah, that's a good one. Fifty-five, you say, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, I take twenty-two. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> I'm not stunned. I'm not stunned. Yeah. Awesome. You just stood under her best shot. That was like her best, one of her best. I mean, the claws go deep. You can feel the tearing of the flesh. Uh, blood started. Yeah, it's going to get some blood going, too. No, I, don't, I don't take any body. I'm good. Oh, you didn't? Oh, nice. Soup frog. Well, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm glad that the robot dude's coming up, you know, so I'm going back out, and uh, I'm just going to do full on, you know, sort of movements to get, get close, you know, and cling on the ceiling. You know, and, and look for my move, look for my way. I'm going to be a follow, you know, far well, well. Cue it up for the next round. Okay. Not close. <laughs> All right, see how they're going to, the uh, agents are going to shoot at you again. I guess they're taking just comfort in the hard spray of their... Uh, I'm going to go meet Yeah. 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 That's a mess. That's a hit. By the way, I, I should point something out. No. Uh, my defenses uh, stay the same as long as I, I keep getting hit by the same attack. Yes. Or, or if I get hit by something else, uh, they, they automatically change. So, for example, uh, right now I have a force field. Mm-hmm. If I get hit with gas, for example, uh, I, I probably get a light support. Uh, so, some of the points from the force field will move to light support, and I don't get a choice on that. It happens. And I will lower my defenses on one hand. So, an enemy who knows this is will just, just bombard me with different attacks and lower my, my resistance. You're a bar. Most people don't know this. They are just 
Yeah, you, know, like, you know, you just uh, you just keep adapting to each attack after a while, you know? And you keep their attack because you keep locking, you keep adapting all the time. <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, You're a star gun team! Yay! Yeah. Oh, and, and, and sooner or later I am going to adapt an offensive power because again, this is random. So one of the days I'm going to oh look, I am charging electricity. Isn't that going to be fun now? <laughs> Knock out, you're up. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water, though. She has a because I'm patched. It's it's the eighth eight now. now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm moving the eighth too. So do I. Awesome. You're almost up there. Yeah. Yeah. In the uh, Windows 2, our first, if you have a s- speed out, yeah, we're afraid it was supposed to go on 6. six. Yeah, yeah, we're six not on eight. Eight. We're on okay. six. We no, just no. 3, then we did 4, we're on segment. Yeah, like I said, segment 5, it's knockout's turn, and I'm going to get a drink of water. Yeah, yeah. The shade Dr. Far will hit me in the six. So, Tim, you played a lot of champions, huh? Yeah, I ran a lot of champions. <laughs> wow. wow. I uh, discovered the game back in 81. It wasn't my first superhero game. Our first one was Builds of Vigilantes. First edition Builds of Vigilantes. Um, then I discovered um, um, Champion, and that pretty much became like my, my superhero game for a very long time. Um, you running any games now? No. Uh, I'm running a bash game every other Tuesday. Um, that's more rules like superhero game. Um, um, but now since I've been doing this, I'm starting to get an itch to do here uh, champions again. So you gotta get with people that are willing to learn the system. I quit running it because I had to do all the work. And people wouldn't even make their own characters or, or learn the rules or anything. But, Right, it's a lot though. That's true. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting it, but it took me a long time. time. I never had a problem understanding it. Do you think I don't really like the new edition? I really like six. I think six, six. There's an old phrase: if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I think it, 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 you know, change the things that I didn't have a problem with. So. And I'm not yep. going to go out and buy a whole bunch of other books again. Because yeah. <laughs> the entire yeah, world, I guess they're trying to, to sex up, but sex it up, but the internal logic of the system is just it's just so simple. You're rolling 3D6 and it's 11 or less with modifiers, and then you can yeah. use yeah. the 3D6 bell curve in different ways. And like the counting the, the damage, doing it differently with body and stun, you've just. You know, you've covered everything you can practically do with the dice. There's nothing more mechanically really to add. The weirdest thing about champions is the people that complain most about how long it takes it takes to make a character never make simple characters. I always notice that. They always play the most complicated thing on the planet and they complain it takes too long. Well, I mean, it was a juggernaut pretty quickly, even though I used the program, but I did it, I originally did it by hand, but it wasn't that hard because it didn't make a complicated build. But, but some people see point buys like, I can beat anything! And they go, and they go nuts, you know, and they want to play everything. They, they go, just get a concept, stick with it, and, and work it out that way, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure out some way to get everything. Anyway, so CO CO is an opportunity to take an action. Okay, I have decided that well, I don't know what's going on here. No one is answering my questions. These guys keep shooting at me, and now that I have realized that they can't hurt me, I am going to take a swing at them. So I'm going to run to the closest one and going to take the punch. 
All right. Let's roll the hit. Uh, that will be 3d6. When you want to get an 11 or less, and there, and we adjust comparing combat values. Their combat value is 4. Okay, well, we should buy that. It's, uh, it's all 3d6. You only get six siders for the game. Yeah. What's your combat value? What's your OCV? Should be right next to you. Uh, wait, let me check again. CV, OCV. Uh, four. Oh, so you have an 11 less chance to hit on it. On 3D6. On 3D6. No adjustment. One moment, please, because I have a, a, an app for rolling. Where were we? Were we at? Is that what we were doing? It was we're rolling the dice when my cat sat on the keyboard. Yep. Yeah. See, uh, um, he rolled and he hit with a punch. Uh, what were the numbers again? Yeah. Uh, when the cat's on the keyboard, that's when we play. Yeah. I think it's a uh, six body and twelve stone. Four body, twelve stone. D- just dusted him. Kind of smiles at you, like, oh, you want to go, huh? You want to go toe to toe? They got anyone shooting at me. I need to start this. We're on segment six. Have we? Has everyone gone on their segment six? Then segment seven is Shaggy Doctor Farwell. Can I abort to a block? Yes, certainly. I put all my levels into my block as well. She's rolling with a 13 to hit. It's pretty rocking. I'm at a 10 DCV now. She hits a 12 or less. Alright. Well, then my block activates. Which is a good thing too, because I don't need to get hit again. Or at least take damage. Well, she attacked on 7, so this is 8 now. Super He's um he's gonna do he's gonna leap down and then he's gonna do one of those sort of back and forth like endo flips like you know that girl on Blade Runner and then he's just gonna um try to land a solid. It's um uh, kick is a two plus two OCV. That is ooh not good not good. I got a 14. That's not going to accomplish much. That's going to be a clean miss. That's not good. She could take me out. She hits me once. She could take me out. I'll switch my levels to strike. See, oh, they're in here and adjust up with both of them. They both decide that they want to go fisty cuffs with you. Because <laughs> since, since the guns did nothing, right? Come on, come on, put it on, put it on. <laughs> uh, DCV of five or less. Mm-hmm. And a miss. Yeah, one guy hit, one guy misses. I rolled double one snake eyes, so his punch was a glancing blow that did nothing. Where are these guys? Did I get to where I where these guys are now? Yeah, the okay. lobby on that floor, and they're tangling with something that looks like a big, vicious cat. So you got frogs and cats. Frogs and felines. This is a strange adventure. And a human. Mm-hmm. What the hell is going on here? Oh, wow. One minute, I'm working on someone's car. I wake up. Uh, you got too many fumes. Yeah. <laughs> 12 or less, so CV. You get hit again. Knockout. I don't know how multiple blocks work when you've avoid aborted but I mean that's what I was doing apparently from the rules I was reading it takes up my whole phase and then maybe it goes away Ugh, the rules are so unclear what would Tim do but you block well you used your block you used it to block her successful hit and I did block and that took my phase so I would say that I probably can't use it again in the ninth you can't make that declaration until you have a, a segment to burn. And that would be a segment that you act in. No, no, no. I used my face to block, 
it's not going to carry over any further, I don't think. But That makes a difference. You, you uh, use your action within the phase that you had in action. Here's another unclear rule. When you have to reach in the future to do a defensive move, you lose that. But you're not yeah. reaching in the future for this block. Well, I did take up my whole phase in the 8th because I aborted in the 7th. So if I would have blocked in the 8th, would my block still be good in the ninth? No. Neither would all that uh, my levels of DCV. I used it. Now you could abort to a block for your for the next phase after and, and the phase nine. I could have, but I didn't say that I was going to. So you got hit. The dice are being rolled for damage. Yeah. Another merciful roll. Nine body and eighteen stun. Yeah, that all bounces. I'm way more tanky than that. No na knockback, huh? Is what you're saying, knockout? Completely bounces off knockout. Okay. Knockout's going to say, Shaggy, Dr. Farwell, I can help you. You're being controlled. Just a presence attack, Brian. It's a long shot, but you're reaching out to a former co-worker. My regular presence is 15, so... Watch, I'll roll like a 6 this time. When I'm rolling the hit, it's like 14s and 15s. Mm -hmm. Nope, the dice are staying pretty true. That's fourteen. No, it doesn't Basically. seem to doesn't seem to acknowledge you. But I did call her Shaggy Doctor Farwell. <laughs> <laughs> she might have taken offense. She yeah. doesn't have to. She attacks me straight away every time. So that's the ninth. We're on to the tenth, which is Super Frog. Yeah. And knockout. And Juggernaut, your speed is five? My speed is three. Oh, that's right. Three, three. I'll go on 12. Okay. I see where you fell in. Nice. Just give me like a visual again. We're looking at like a furry woman mm -hmm. with like a device. There's a device on her. Yeah, there's a... It's strapped like vest like cops wear where they put everything on. It's hooked up like that around the shoulders and around the waist. But it has electronic electrical components and there's wires running from it into her head. Shit. That could be the source of the attack. I wonder how strong she is. She must be really strong. Super Frog's gonna do one of those sort of twirling sideways somersaults in space to try to get at the ceiling. That's and then while he does that, he's gonna he wants to do a grab for the wires on the back of her head. OCV is 10, and I don't know what that ever means, but we're going to see what happens. Oh, that's a 14. Mm. Not going to hit Shaggy Dr. Farwell. <laughs> Welcome to the club. He landed up on the ceiling. How high is the ceiling? This corridor is Five. like... 40 feet wide. It's 60 feet wide, according to your hexes. It's 60 feet wide, so it's all, it's 25 feet high. Okay. So and it's rounded, like, and it's rounded, and then there's skylights every once in a while to give you a view. After the phenomenal mist, Superfog will gaze dreamily out into space. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Knockout. You want me to use my tent? Let me look at the, how the tent shakes I out. Going. I would like you to finish up the tent. Okay. I'm not going to try to grab. I'm going to try to use my strength with my, all my levels in OCV again. Okay, I need a knife less. Snarling and... That's a beautiful 11. Those are nice eyes. Just razor thin on the edge. But it's still not enough for Shaggy Dr. Farwell. Super Frog scene moves like this before. Yeah, baby. That's the concludes segment 10. We're going to pick back up at segment 11. Here we go. Episode 16, we got new players. We've kind of got integrated in our rough and ready way. Look forward to another two weeks. We'll do it on the alternate, the man in black 
obviously we've set that up so we're not interfering with each other. If something happens to the other group, can I do this every week or is it only every other week? I do it every other week because that's as the game master. I can't give you a game every week. I just can't do it. That's fine. Well, it was fun to play the game after a long time. Oh, you'll get more. There's more. This was my first time. It was a lot of fun. Exactly. <laughs> we popped your cherry. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the Puerto Rican got them going. Yes. Hit a party night. All right. Good night, gentlemen. I'm going to take some notes. And, and yeah, and that's it.